the book of Luke, chapter 1, starting from verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and he has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began, that he, we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. He said that the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. That was Zechariah prophesying about his son, John the Baptist, who prepared the way for the king of Israel. That's right. The king of Israel is about his people. He's not about the rest of the nation. It's only about his people, Israel, the so-called Latinos, Negroes, African-American, Caribbean spread across the four corners of the world. That's right. They are the Israelites. That's right. The Hebrew Israelites. Like it was, pro it was prophesied family, like the Lord says, let's go to the book of Isaiah 46 verse 9. It says here, remember the former things of old, for I am the most high. And there is none else. I am the power. And there is none like me. Verse 10. Isaiah 46 verse 10. It says. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times. The things that are not yet done. That's the point. The things that are not yet done. Saying my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. The Lord prophesied, that's right, family, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 38, hmm, the Lord told us through the prophet Ezekiel that this nation, along with Russia, the Middle East, Gog and Magog, Togoma, Turkey, Libya, all these nations are going to join together. To take down Israel and then Babylon the Great. So family, when we come across, when the Lord put these articles on our lap, our job, like Yahweh Shai said, He says, don't worry about prosperity gospel. He says, because all I want you to do, is says, the testimony of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, is the spirit of prophecy. You see, so when we get this article, family, we filter it through the Holy Scriptures and then we give glory to our power, Yahweh. Because guess what? He told us this, what current, the current situation that we are entering into, family, he declared it from the beginning. That's right. He says again in the book of Isaiah 55. Let's pick it up from verse 10. Isaiah 55 verse 10, it says, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, and that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11. Isaiah 55 verse 11. It says, yeah, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, 
but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. That is the power that we serve. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. It's his name. His only begotten son. Whose gospel I'm preaching right now. This gospel here firmly is directly from our king. The redeemer of Israel. Yahweh Shai. We are simply making the way for the king to come and take over this kingdom. That is why you see in this nation. You see in the American dollar collapsing. Hmm? American losing. America in the West losing their hegemony. You see new powers rising up because these new powers are rising up simply to do the will of our power, Yahweh. Because family, it is not going to be Russia. Mm -mm. It's not going to be Iran, Turkey, China, who are, who are going to be ruling the world after America goes down. It is the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending the Alpha and the Omega. His name is Yahweh Shai. He's the one coming to rule on this planet. That's right. He says his word that go forth out of his mouth. He told us the time that we are living in family. He says everything that he said is going to be accomplished. Let's repeat that again. Isaiah chapter 55. Because family, these are not my word. These are the word of the Most High Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. He says Isaiah 55 verse 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven. And returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word, my word, Isaiah 55, 11. He says, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. You hear that? Everything that the, key, the power says, Yahweh says, he says, As long, if his prophets... Family, it comes out of the mouth of his prophets. Guess, guess what? It's going to be accomplished. Read the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and 8. It tells you all this kingdom that will come and rule. And family, all you have to do is go into Google and type it in. All this nation came and ruled and family is over. They the time, the Lord says, he is the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever. So he gives these nations time to rule. And the time come, he removed them. And family, the same way the Lord gave power to the last leg of the Roman Empire, that little horn that came back, rebirthed the Renaissance in the 1400, that's right. America is mimicking everything the Asian Roman Empire was all about. So family, that's the last leg of the Roman Empire. This is how close we are. Eh? He says, so shall my word that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, eh? but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. All praises, honor, and glory to our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh is his name, and his only begotten son, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. Yes, his name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai simply means in the Hebrew tongue, the Paleo Hebrew, it means he is the deliverer. That's right. He's coming to deliver his elect. He told you in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 22, says what? For my elect's sake, I'm gonna cut the time short. That's right. And then he says in the book of Matthew 24, 29 down, it says immediately after the tribulation, that's right, the angels will go what? They'll go around the world, the four corners of the world. It doesn't matter where the elect are. That's right. Whether they are in Africa, whether in India, Vietnam, China, Pakistan, Jamaica, Barbados, Family, we've been spread across the four corners of the world. It doesn't matter where we are. He says the angel will gather us into the ship. That's the time that we are living in. This is how close we are to the kingdom, which is going to be on this planet Earth. He is coming to pass over his elect. That's right. 
and then he's going to bring destruction and then we're going to come down and all those rich folks that are hiding in their bunkers that's why right, we're going to dig them out that's right oh yes we are going to dig them out because they are the first crop of slaves that's right Yes, they're going to be going around the world, gathering all the dead and burying the dead. That's right. That's, that's their first job. Yes. Employment for seven years. Somewhere in Ezekiel, it tells you, all oh, praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. But family, let's go. Let's get into it. Again, to you, the hopeful elect, and patiently waiting for your king to come, I say shalom to you. Shalom to you. Continue to stay prayed up. Family, we are close. Continue to repent. We all repenting day in and day out. Hourly we are repenting. Because we want mercy. Because this flesh here needs to be changed, family. We are not perfect. We are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But we are repenting. Asking for mercy. Asking for mercy day in and day out. Asking for mercy, family. We need it. Especially the time that we are about to enter into. But family here, this is from the Jerusalem Post. This is coming from... Uh, what is it called? Erdogan. It says, Muslim world must unite against Israel. You hear that? Family, let me repeat that again. Because we know that the, war, the, the major war, the Third World War, the war of Armageddon, like the Lord said it. Hmm? That's why he said what? The river Euphrates is drying up. Revelation 16, to prepare the way for the king of the east. That's right. These nations are going to all come together. The Lord says in the book of Joel chapter 3, he's going to sit down and judge them in the valley of Jehoshaphat. That is what is coming. That's the time that we are about to enter into. So family, what do we do? We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Because those two entities, the power, Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai. Family, this is their movie. That's why we only the mouthpiece and we pray for mercy that he will show us mercy. That's all we're asking for. We are not perfect. Yes, family, we are not perfect. We need mercy. Hmm? We need deliverance. We need deliverance. It says here, Muslim world must unite against Israel. Erdogan says to Iran, Rasi. You hear that? Family, all of a sudden you see Iran and Saudi Arabia making peace. Eh? Syria now, the family, is about to make peace with who? Saudi Arabia. You see how everything is coming together. Guess who's doing it, family? Our power. Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, Yahweh, why? Yahweh Shai, family. Our king. Family, no, without our king, Yahweh Shai, we have no access to the power. You hear that? And it's Yahweh Shai. He is the one bringing the angels to get us out of here. And Yahweh Shai has received all judgment. The power says he judged nobody. He has given judgment to Yahweh Shai. That's why we praise Yahweh Shai, family. That's why we worship Yahweh Shai. Because from he is the one coming. His father, Yahweh, is not coming. Yahweh is give, has given power to Yahweh Shai. So, family, we want to be in the good grace of Yahweh Shai. You better believe it. He's the one that went on the cross for us. That's why we don't play with that name. Yahweh Shai, family. It says here the two world leaders also discussed the incidents at the Al Aqsa Mosque and Iranian. Turkish relations. You hear that? That was the major fight that took, uh, I think it took place a few days ago. Was it last Friday? No, maybe three or four days ago. Inside Jerusalem where people, I think the Palestinians were worshipping and the Israeli forces went in there. So family, things are escalating. And we give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because we need it, family. We want that chaos. Because in the midst of that chaos, family, the third world war. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that third world war, family. We're waiting for it. All praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Lukakodash. If the king said he's going to show up in the midst of that third world war, you better believe he's going to show up. And he says when he was done with them, there was nothing to be perceived. You mean, you hear that? It was just dust and smoke. And that's what we are looking forward to. He says here, Turkish President Rika Tekiyap Erdogan told his Iranian counterpart Ibrahim Resi, excuse me, over the phone that the Islamic world should be united against Israel's attack in Palestine. Turkish media reported. 
The two world leaders also discussed the incident at the Al-Aqsa Mosque and Iranian-Turkish relations. The report said the Turkish president also noted the importance to preserve the status of holy areas and emphasized reasonable thinking in order to prevent further escalation of violence in Israel and the Palestinian territories, sources says. Israel Foreign Minister Eli Cohen then told his Turkish counterpart Mevlot Kavuzoglu the same day that the IDF will respond to any attempt to terrorize civilians. The incident came during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and on the eve of the Jewish Passover. Erdogan condemned the Israeli policy's actions. Oh, sorry. Erdogan condemned the Israeli police actions at the Al, the Al Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem on Wednesday, calling such acts in the mosque compound a red line for Turkey. You hear that? It says, I condemn the vile act against the first Qibla of Muslims in the name of my country and people, and I call for the attacks to be halted as soon as possible, he said. Erdogan also condemned the U.S. ambassador to Turkey for meeting with the main opposition alliance presidential candidate less than two months before election in the country. So, family, we give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha Kodash. Family, it's not coincident that these nations are all coming together. Family, you know us, it's all about the precept, it's all about glorifying the Lord, eh? It's all about our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. This is his movie. Family, I am just a mouthpiece of the Lord. <clears throat> just a mouthpiece. And we are here to prophesy, family. We are ushering in the coming of our King, Yahweh. Shai. Before it happens, we have to tell these nations what is coming. We're telling you that the King is going to come in the midst of that third world war. We're telling you before it happens. That's what the old prophet did. So, family, we are doing the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun. That's right. Nothing new under the sun. Jeremiah said it. The prophets of old. Let's let's go let's go there first. Family. Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight, verse eight. Hmm? It says here. Jeremiah twenty-eight, verse eight. It says here. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many na sorry many countries, and against great kingdoms. Of what? First, war. That's right. We're telling you, Third World War is coming. Eh? And of evil. That's right. Our economy is collapsing. People are losing their job. Family, people feel like all oh, the work that they've put in for the past 40 years, all the money that they've saved to retire, the government is now about to tell them that they don't have access, access to it. Yes, family, people are going to lose their mind. That's right. So evil is coming. Destruction is coming. Neighbors against neighbor is all prophesied in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, 2nd Ezra chapter 16. It says here, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdom of war and of evil and of pestilences. That's right. Diseases, earthquakes. Farming, these are all pestilences that the Lord is bringing upon this earth. That's right. Before, there's, family, there's nothing new under the sun. Before we left Egypt, guess what happened? The Lord brought 10 different plagues. And you think this modern day Egypt, spiritual Egypt and Sodom, the Lord is going to spare it? No, 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 family, the Lord is bringing chaos first before he get us out of this place. And we say all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Yah and Yahweh Shai. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel 38. It says here, this is another message. Let's read in the NLT version. Eh? This is another message that came, me, that came to me from the Lord, Ezekiel 38, verse 2. It says, Son of man, turn and face Gog hmm, of the land of Magog. That land right now is being occupied by who? Russia. That's right. 
those are the inhabitants of Gog and Magog. That land right now is the belongs to uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Jaff, Jaff, uh, Japheth, the family. Now the Edomites have taken over that that land. That's right. The Russians occupy that region right now. It says here, Gog, Elf, the land of Magog, and Prince who rules over the nations of Meshach and Tubal and prophesied against him. Eh? It says here, give him this message from the sovereign Lord. It says, Gog, I am your enemy. That's what the Lord is saying. It's your enemy. He says, I will turn you around and put hooks in your jaw. That old USSR spirit is coming back. That's right. That's why you see Russia family they are on a whole different vibration right now. But they're going to team up with these nations, the nations of the Middle East. That's right. Misha, Togoma, that's Turkey family. They are all going to come together. That region, Iran is going to be among them. China is going to be among them. Yes, that's the time that we are about to enter into. To do what? To do one thing. To please the Lord. Because he said what? He's going to do all his pleasure. He told you in the book of Isaiah 46, 10, he's going to do all his pleasure. Everything that he said is going to happen, he is going to happen. He says here, and he says, I will turn you around and put hooks in your jaw to lead you out with your whole army, your horses and chariots. What is modern day horses? Yes, your airplane, your drone, your submarines, eh? all these electronic warfare that they are family, they have all... It is the Lord that gave them technology to build it. Your intercontinental ballistic missiles, that's right, ICBM, that's right, with nuclear heads. Yes, it is the Lord's armory. That's right. These are the Lord's armies, family. This is, these are the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. These are his armies. Hey? Eh? He says here, your charioteers in full armor and great horde armed with shield and sword. Hmm? It says Persia. What is Persia right now? Persia is what? Modern day Iran. It's not coincidence that Iran is making peace with Saudi Arabia and Russia, China are the peace brokers. Eh? That's right, family. Because why? We are living in the last days. The only thing left is the Third World War and the micro to the CHIP. Revelation 13, 16. And then some of the elect still have to be sealed. We don't know who, but we pray that the Lord will have mercy on us and we are among the numbers that will be delivered. Family, that's all we pray for. Nobody knows who is among the number, but we said what? The hopeful elect. It says, therefore, it says what? Uh, therefore, something about therefore, carry yourself as the elect. Just roughly paraphrasing. Nobody is saved yet until you are up in the ship, family. Nobody is safe until you are up in the ship. That's why it says, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. And give diligence to make your what? Election sure. That's right. He says here, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya will join you. You hear that? Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya will join you to all, to with, with all, sorry. Let me, let me take my time and do justice to this uh, precept. <clears throat> Ezekiel 38 verse 5. It says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya will join you too with all their weapons. Goma and all its armies will also, will also join you along with the armies of Bethogoma from the distant north and many others. We're talking about Pakistan. Kajistan, all those region family, they're all going to tag team. They're going to all come together with Russia and fulfill the will of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. He says here, verse 7, it says here, here is the point. It says, get ready, be prepared. Telling Togoma, Russia, it says, it's a, sorry, Gog. It says here, get ready, be prepared, keep all the armies around you mobilized. Hmm? Hey? And take command of them. You hear that? The Lord said, you, God, these armies that I am aligning and aligning with you, you're going to take care of them. You're going to lead them. You're going to take command of them. You hear that, family? Who can declare that from the beginning? Our power, Yahweh Bahashem. So, family, it's no coincidence that you have, now you have Turkey, who belongs to NATO. But eventually, family, 
I think they're going to tell NATO that, listen, I think uh, we're going to stop right here. We're going to form new alliances. Because, yeah, Turkey, as it stands right now, is a member of NATO. But the time will come because this book has to be fulfilled. Family, the Lord, the family, something is going to happen. And Turkey is going to say they're no longer a member of NATO. That time is fast approaching. Don't get it twisted because this is the lost movie. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is the next following. The world is not ending. It's the rulership that is going to end. Esau will never, the so-called white man will never rule again. And he's the one the Lord is about to visit. And the rest of the nations, they're all going into slavery. That's what is coming. That's right. Israelite 10. That's right. Jacob is next. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. It says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the next to follow. The earth abided forever. According to the book of Ecclesiastes, there is no, it's not the end of the world, family. The end of a rulership. That's right. That's what is coming. There's a new kingdom coming right after this one goes down. So, family, as you see, this is not coincident. And we have many articles to go to. Family, we have 12. We just went through one. Please bear with me. Okay, we're going to fly through them. Okay, we're gonna dig it. family. It's all about prophecy. We all here. We glorify our power. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Like a brother told me a few days ago. Sometimes, yes, you know, I just bring it out. Sometimes it may be an hour, but it's all about the Lord, you know. And he's right. It's all about the Lord. This is only for the elect. It's only for the. It's not for everybody. Somebody just want two minutes a video. Go to TikTok. This here is all about the, our salvation. It's all about our salvation. It's all about pleasing the Lord Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It's only for the elect of Israel. They are the only people that's going to take heed. They are the only people that are going to listen to this message. They say, whoa, you know, this is for me. The Lord knows his people. He said, the sheep, my, my sheep hears my voice. Let's get into it. Let's continue. Family, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. He says, U.S. deploys nuclear sub to Middle East. It's no coincidence, family. Right now, Russia is building their army in the northern part of Syria. They know, and they are going to push America out. So America is preparing. There's a lot of things happening. Family, you're not going to catch this on the mainstream media. No, 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 no. They're going to give you the, the Oscar. They're going to give you uh, who's, uh, who's the latest. Uh, I can't remember. I don't follow mainstream media. But family, no, majority of the people are fast asleep. You have Instagram, Twitch, uh, TikTok. You know, they just continue to dumb society down. That's right. Yeah, so you have no clue what is happening around you. But the elect family, we thank the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, because we could have been in the same state. But no, he has us family. Our head is on a swivel. That's right. That's the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and that's the sure message of David. We don't take it for granted, family. We want salvation. Eh? We want to be changed. We want our new bodies. That's right. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for salvation. Family, salvation is already in our heart. He said, how shall I said it himself? He says, it's not by observation. It's already within you. That's right. You know what, you, what is coming for you. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. Family, we are about to see our king for the first time. You know? We are about to see our king for the first time. U.S. deploys nuclear sub to Middle East. He said the move comes, <coughs> excuse me, amid protracted tensions between Washington and Tehran. He said the U.S. Navy has broken with its regular protocol in announcing the deployment to the Middle East of a nuclear submarine capable of launching 154 Tomahawk missiles. Hmm? The show of force move comes amid ongoing tensions with Iran. You hear that, family? Oh, yeah. Things are, things are, things are coming together. And we thank the Lord for it. Hmm? It says here, the submarine is capable of carrying... I just read that. Sorry, I, did, I didn't. Here. The submarine is capable of carrying up to 154 Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles and is deployed to the U.S. 5th Fleet to help ensure regional maritime security and stability, said Commander Timothy Hawkins, a spokesman for the 5th Fleet based in Bahrain on Saturday. Hawkins added that that submarine had passed through the Suez Canal on Friday on its route to an undisclosed location in the Middle East. He declined to comment on the specifics of the submarine's mission or what 
had led to its deployment. Oh, yeah. Third world were like the Lord said. <laughs> Family, they are going to please the Lord. You better believe it. Let's get the next article. They're going to please the Lord. This is all about pleasing the Lord. The Lord said they're going to fight third world war. He's the one that's going to judge them. And then that met our King Yahweh Shah. We don't know what time, what hour, what month, but we know that it's fast approaching and we cannot wait. It says here, Muslim nations don't believe U.S. democracy pledges Gallup. It says it's coming to a point where family, all these nations that at one point they were like in bed with America, they're all walking away from them. They're all walking away from America. They don't believe in democracy. America they themselves don't believe in democracy. Eh? They don't believe in free speech. No. They are shutting down social media. Family, you say something that they don't like, the media, they don't like, they shut you down. Family, we are all, we, family, it's, 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 it's open secret. Eh? That's the time that we are living in. Every, whatever they are pushing around the world, they don't even believe in it. Democracy. Democracy? They don't believe in it. But the nations are finding out though. Eh? The nations are mad. They, because why? They saw they drank the wine of her fornication. Now the nations are mad. They said this democracy is destroying our society. Eh? You're putting the woman above the man. The man can't say anything. Eh? You're pushing all this alphabet lifestyle on the people. They don't want that. The rest of the world said, no, 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 this is not for us. And you see in it, you see in the division. You know, you know, the kingdom is coming to an end. He says, actually, let's bring a precept. He says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder? Let's go to the book of Jeremiah and glorify the Lord, man. Jeremiah 50. <clears throat> is it Jeremiah 50? 23. <clears throat> Jeremiah 50, 23. He says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations. That's right. The hammer of the whole earth. 850 army bases in the world. Destroy half of the world. Everywhere they go, it's just pure destruction. Killing, raping, death. That's what follows them. That's right. Afghanistan was the latest. Iran. It's so what is it called? Syria, Iraq. They've been everywhere. Hey? Vietnam, uh, Somalia, Sudan, from, they've been everywhere. Eh? Pure destruction and death that follows them. Eh? Now the nations are realizing that no, 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 no. We, we don't want this. Here, let's read it. It says this here, Jeremiah 50 verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? It says here, I have laid a snare, a snare is a trap for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. That's right. Your new world order. I'm going to build 15 minute cities. I'm going to have you eat bugs. You're going to own nothing and be happy about it. I'm going to take all the riches and keep you poor. They've destroyed the middle class. Yes. The Lord has set a trap for you. And you thought you were going to get away with it. You're going to put people in slaves again. You have all the riches in the world. The Lord bless you with this beautiful planet. But look at how you turn it. You turn the planet into, into it's just pure destruction. And nothing is clean. Mm -hmm. Nothing is clean. The food is, the food is polluted. The air is polluted. The water is polluted. Everything that you thought is polluted. You've destroyed it. And that now the Lord is removing you. And the earth will rejoice when you go down. Okay, the earth will rejoice because there will be a righteous ruler in place. And his name is Yahweh Shai, the king of Israel. He said, the Muslim nations don't believe U.S. democracy pledges. You, see, you hear that? He said, many also fear Washington won't allow them to craft their own political futures. A poll has found. The nation, that's why family, you see uh, China right now heavy in the Middle East along with Russia. Yes, they are pushing America out because the nations are tired. For your own allies, Saudi Arabia now joining, jo uh, joining uh, what is it called, joining Russia and China. You know that it's, it's done. America is finished, family. It's finished. They will never wake up because this is the Lord's movie. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. You can put a fork in it. It's done like dinner. It says here, the survey which was published by Gallup, Gallup 
on Friday also showed that most people in those countries doubt Washington's commitment for them to forge their own political futures without some level of democracy promotion oversight from the U.S. The poll was released around the 20-year anniversary of Operation Iraq Freedom, the U.S.-led campaign to topple Saddam Hussein from power, which began in 2003. The administration of then-President George W. Bush launched the operation on false ascension that Saddam was developing weapons of mass destruction, which could potentially be used against the U.S. and its allies. The move is generally considered to be among the worst foreign policy blunders in the U.S. history. In U.S. history, you hear that? The nations are walking away from you. But you know why they're doing that? It is the Lord. We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh He is the one. He says what? He has set a bound for you and you cannot pass it. Let's go to the book of Job, Job 14, 5. It says here, it's all about the Lord. It says here, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. That's right. That's you. You can. If you are wicked, how can you bring good out of wicked? Because the earth also was given to the hand of the wicked. So if a, a wicked ruler is in charge, you think the people are going to rejoice? No. Everything, everything that he brings forth, it's going to be wickedness. Okay? That's why the Lord is asking the question here. Job 14, 4. He said, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. He said, seeing his days are determined. You hear that? Your days are determined. The Lord told you this from the beginning. Eh? That you will come out and then you will deceive the nation and you will rule for a little season. That's right. Your little season is up. Here, it says, seeing that, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass it. You hear that? That's what the Lord did to you. He saw Edom. Hmm? You are not white. White and black, those are social construct family. We've gone there many, many, many times. You know, nobody is black, nobody is white. People are all type or all that shade of brown family. But Esau used that, eh, to put himself at the top. Yeah, white is so pure, you know, so lovely, so righteous. But look at, look, look at what he has done. The total opposite. That's what he is. The total destruction, stealing, lying, eh? How can you be pure? How can uh, family, anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. It says here, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass it. That's the thing. It shows you who ruleth in the kingdom of men. It is the Lord. Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. Actually, you know what? I don't like quoting because here it is about glorifying the Lord. So if the Lord said it, let's give him glory. Let's give him the credit. It says here, Daniel 4 17. In case, in case you wonder who is ruling in the kingdom of men, it says here, Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men. Look up that word, the basis of men, meaning low morale, eh? yes, low integrity, hmm? pure, filled with all type of debauchery, eh? <coughs> wickedness. That's the person ruling over you. Yes, that's what the person ruling over you. Because it makes no sense for somebody to tell you that you're going to eat bugs and be happy about it. Meanwhile, they are having steak, hmm? organic steak, eh? but they're telling you that you're going to own nothing and be happy about it. Meanwhile, they have mansions upon mansions. They're telling you that you're not going to own a car, but they're traveling in jets, yes, gas, gasless, yes, farming, SUVs. That's when you know that it is the wicked that is in rulership, mm -hmm. and the Lord is about to remove him. That's right. He saw Edom. It's, it's done for him. It says here, so yeah, Saudi delegation, Saudi, Saudi delegation in Iran after historic deal. A Saudi delegation arrived in Tehran Saturday to discuss reopening its diplomatic missions in the Islamic Republic. Two days after a historic meeting in Beijing between their foreign ministers. You see what is happening, family? I know the family. I've mentioned this many, many times already. It's no coincidence that all these nations, especially the Middle East, are all teaming together. Yes. 
we are very close. The war is at the door. And the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, need to be glorified. He says, when you praise the Lord, family, you can't even go far enough. He says, exalt him. He says, family, even after you think you've exalted the Lord, he says, you can, you can go, you can, you can do better. We cannot glorify the Lord. Family, can you know what is coming for the elect? Hey? What is coming for the hopeful elect family? The Lord is about to change us. Family from zero. Hey? We, have, we are at the bottom of society. And all of a sudden, you are above all this nation. That is what is coming. And family, you have to have faith to believe. It is faith, family. And we have it. And it's all a gift from the Musa, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem. Family, if we didn't have this, we would have been through. We have been done. Can you imagine not having this truth here, family? We would have been done. But thank the Lord. Like it says in the book of, I believe it's uh, uh, Ephesians 2, 6, where it says, it's a gift of, uh, the faith is a gift from the Lord. Let me see, I haven't gone there in a while. Let me see, I hope I'm quoting it right. I mean, this is the word, the Lord, the work of the Lord, man. We don't want to cut corners. Ephesians 2, is it Ephesians 2, 8? Yes, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of the Most High. You hear that? It is the gift of the Most High. It's not anything that we've done. Because family, like us, it says our righteousness is like filthy rags. It's a literally like a, like a, a, a woman, a woman on, on, on her period. That's how our righteousness, that's, that's how the Lord look at our righteousness. Filthy. You understand? So this is a gift of the Lord. Nobody should be proud. Day in and day out. No matter how bad, we give thanks, family. We give thanks for this gift of faith. We don't take it for granted, family. We do not take it for granted. And the Lord says, it is a gift. Okay, so family, you see Saudi delegation in Iran after a historic deal. They're all coming together. Syria is going to be next in line. They're all coming together, family. They are to fulfill the will of the Lord. And it says here, Israeli military. Three rockets fired from Syria toward Israel on Friday. Separate attacks in the occupied West Bank and in Tel Aviv. Israel commercial hub killed two British Israel sisters and an Italian tourist. You see, the Middle East is heating up. It is heating up. And again, the Lord will get all the glory. And here comes uh, a U.S. US uh, Congress, man. It says here, U.S ready for war with china congressman u.s congressman will approve troop deployment to taiwan should china attack the island representative michael mccall said u.s congress will authorize a direct military confrontation with china if beijing launch an attack against taiwan house foreign affairs committee chairman michael mccall told fox news on friday evening the texas the texas republican representative was talking from Taipei during a three-day bi uh, bipartisan delegation visit to self-governing island. You hear that? Because family, at this, at this point, you see the U.S. and the West economy is collapsing right in front of your eyes. America is going to lose its hegemony in terms of the dollar because the U.S. dollar was the world reserve currency. And uh, as you see, things, the nations are moving away from the dollar. So what that's going to cause is high inflation american dollar is going to worth nothing and when it's all said and done okay um and uh, the only literally the only thing left for them they're not going to sit back and take it family they have 850 army bases that's why that's how the lord set it up because the same we go back and look at history you read the asian roman empire how it fell family the same thing the debauchery Social system collapse, family, LGBTQ, SZ, whatever number they or letter they add into it, all type of just wickedness. Eh? And then also uh, their financial system, inflation was all time high. The same thing ha that happened in the ancient Roman Empire is happening right now too. That's why the Lord said there's nothing new under the sun. This kingdom is collapsing right in front of your eyes. That's why the Lord says, you know what? You, you shall see the reward of the wicked. That time is coming. Oh, that time is coming. So you see, they want a war with China. They want a war with Russia. They're going to get it. Because at the end of the day, this is the lost movie. 
He wants to give them the opportunity. He wants to see how, because America, Babylon, the great is going to be the lake of fire. Because the time will come when all these nations, they're going to turn their missiles on America. Because America is the cancer of the world. That's right. Now the nations are realizing that. You know, and the Lord's will is going to be fulfilled. That's what is coming. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So here now, just after that comment, and we know that uh, I think um, Taiwan president or uh, prime minister is visiting, uh, what is it called? Uh, Russia, uh, sorry, U.S. And here, China launches military drills around Taiwan. The exercises are a serious warning to Taipei and external forces. External forces are what? The West, America, specifically America. Okay. Beijing warns, it says here, the Chinese military announced the launch of three days of exercises in the Taiwan Street on Saturday. The, the war games come just a day after Taiwanese leader Chai Ingwen returned from the U.S. where she met with White, sorry, where he met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and other lawmakers. The drill dubs United Sharp Sword. Wow, that's the name. The, the drills dubbed United Sharp Sword are a serious warning to Taiwan. Independent separatist forces and external forces, collusion, uh, collusion and provocation, the Chinese People's Liberation Army said in a statement. So, family, things are heating up and we say honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Ba Hashem. Yahushai Ba Hashem Rukakodash family. I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there. And uh, again, let's find out who's the end of the world and who's the beginning of it that followeth. Let's go to second Ezra. Oh, this beautiful family. We are living in a beautiful time. I won't lie. You know, we live in a beautiful time to see the fall of our enemy. All praises on and glory to our power. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai Ba Hashem Rukakodash. Thank the Lord for mercy. Second Ezra chapter 6. Verse 9. Now it's verse 7. It says here. Then answered I and said, What shall be the pattern asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Esau is Edom, okay, the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay. Verse 9, it says, for Esau is the end of the world, that's right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You hear that? Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So after the third world war, yes, there will be life. The elect of Israel will be in rulership along with their power. Their king, Yahweh Shai, King David also will be there. The 12 apostles also will be there. The 144,000 governors, the 12,000 from each tribe will be there. And the large multitude that the Lord is going to have mercy upon, they will all be in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on this planet earth. It is heaven, the Israelite heaven, because the Israelites are going to be in rulership. That's right. And that's what is coming. And with that, we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator of the heaven and the earth, Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, our king, the redeemer of Israel, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the root and offspring of King David, the Alpha and the Omega, Yahweh Shai, and to you, the hopeful elect, I say Shalom.